Hi, this is Roberto Musso. I'm the technical director at NDI, also known as Dr. NDI. And we are very excited to share with you a new version of NDI Free Audio. In the past, you could have access to this uh, command line tool only through the SDK, so it was not really accessible for the user base. But today, we are releasing it as an individual package, which you can download directly and for free from the NDI website. And what's new about it? Uh, well, in the Windows version, we added ASIO support, which is very important because, as you know, ASIO offers a very low latency and high channel count compared to Windows driver. So, what you can do with, with NDI Free Audio, you can use it with any computer from a laptop to a workstation, but even with a very small single board computer like uh, Raspberry Pi to create your own NDI audio IO device. I use it myself many times uh, to convert uh, an analog source like a microphone into an NDI audio stream. But with it, I build my own interconsystem. system. Uh, I build a, a very interesting bell pack using a Raspberry Pi with a PoE option and just a USB asset. And if you are a developer, uh, you can use NDI free audio to test uh, audio workflow. And this will help you a lot generating NDI audio only stream, decoding NDI audio stream, and testing a, a workflow for your own application, even without the need of an SDK or to write a, even a line of code. But let me show you how it is easy to use. Okay, I just installed NDI free audio in my Windows machine. Uh, you remember that NDI free audio is a command line tool. And so to, to use it, you need to access to the executable file, which is in program file, NDI, NDI free audio. There are two other folder. X86 is for a Windows 32 bit. But in my case, I'm using Windows 11 64 bit, and I will use uh, this application that is 64 bit. And so to run the application, I need to use Windows Terminal or a PowerShell. If with Windows 11 is super easy, you right click here and open in Terminal, and this will open Windows PowerShell. So let's take a look of the content of the folder, and we need to use NDI Free Audio Executable. And this is the way to run an executable file in Windows PowerShell. And running the application in this way will show you uh, the option of the application. The first option are about how to use the application, the, all the input and output setting, etc. And then you have all the input and output device connected to your computer. As you can see, in my computer are quite a lot of device, and we are going to use the number four. And this is a Behringer X32 uh, digital audio mixer. Thanks to NDI Free Audio with ASIO support, I can use 32 in. Now, I want to play back in my audio device the audio coming from this NDI stream, which is an NDI test pattern running in my laptop. And this is very simple. You run the executable and you define the input you want to use. In this case, is input 4. And then you need to define uh, the NDI stream you are going to decode, okay, output underscore, and the NDI stream that is in this case is Dr. NDI laptop test pattern. So, super simple. Now my uh, Behringer X32 is output uh, the one kilohertz uh, audio coming from this NDI stream. Now, Let's do the reverse. So I want to generate an NDI stream, and this is the way NDI free audio at this point dash input four, and then I need to define the, the stream name. So how this NDI stream will look like, and that's it, super easy. 
And so if I now go to my NDI studio monitor, I can now select my workstation machine and I see uh, NDI audio stream coming from this uh, Behringer X32. So super simple, uh, play with it and have fun.